Today's show is sponsored by Terry Wogan's Bohemian Rhapsody. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. (laughs) (laughs) This is the technical difficulties we're playing Citation Needed. In front of me I have an almost randomly selected Wikipedia article from everybody's favourite reliable source of knowledge, and these folks can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding, and there's a special prize for particularly good answers, which is... Mystery Biscuits! Oh yeah! Good lord. (laughs) Good grief! Mm. So today we are talking about the Counts of Andex. <laughs> the what? Sorry, the Count. The Counts of counts Andex. Of Andex. Oh, is that how they determine how many uh, sheets there are on a roll of bog roll? <laughs> that's yes, the, that's the yeah. Count of Andrex. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, the Andrex company was started by Count Andrex of Bohemia. In <laughs> the 18- <laughs> one <laughs> one <laughs> sheet, not enough. <laughs> Two, not enough. Three, getting there. But we'll go for four, just in case. <laughs> You have to check in with them before you enter the toilet and gamble on how, how <laughs> yeah. much you're going to need. <laughs> he stood outside sliding them under the door, sheet by sheet. <laughs> <laughs> what is sheet five worth to you? Ah, 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 ah. I have insatiable thirst for human blood. <laughs> 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 It's the thought of count with the count actually submitted to his basic non- non-counting inst- instincts one night. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Try to find virgin on Sesame Street. Impossible! Oh! <laughs> Bertanoni, no hope there. <laughs> I go to their house thinking two for one deal. No, things I see cannot be unseen. Oh. <laughs> one night, three for one. Big bird, very small. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a lovely quote from the, from the creators of Sesame Street when they, you know, were tired of commenting on the Burton Ernie rumours, which was, they're puppets, they don't exist below the waist. No, but they've got a man's <laughs> fist up their arse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somewhere back in that rant, you did mention Bohemia. Does anyone know what Bohemia actually was? It was uh, an area of Germany, yeah. Or what is now Or Austria, Germany. or sorry, one of the many states that coalesced into Germany over the 19th century. It's mm. modern-day Czech Republic. Oh, yeah. there you go. Well, 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 prisoner of Zender inspiration, basically, Bohemia, wasn't it? Prisoner of Zender? Y- yes, yes, the, the novel, um, the Ruritanian. Um, mm, I don't, I know the name, but not much yeah. else, I'm afraid. Mm. Big castles and big pointy mm. hats and like, large tashes and big swords and all that. Yes. What, they're large castles? Yep. <laughs> I love a lady with a flying buttress. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I am crenellated. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Repel all borders. <laughs> Boy, sorry, I'm doing Terry Wogan's <laughs> castle defence. <laughs> Repel Terry, all borders. Ter- Ter- Terry yeah. Wogan's castle defence of the ship, I think you'll find. <laughs> is Repel all borders. I think we've found the British version of Takeshi's castle. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I, no, actually, I, no offence to T-Wogs himself, um, but he is too lower level. Takeshi Katano, am I right? Beat Takeshi. Massive, huge movie star of, of Japan. Yeah. If you were doing it, it'd be Connery's castle. Oh. That's the level of Moore's Mansion or something like that, is what you would be looking at. <laughs> Brosnan's bungalow. <laughs> Dalton's dormer. This isn't quite a word. <laughs> I've, got, I've got Brosnan's bungalow, it's just been an alternative Saturday morning kids Today show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to look at some silly things outside. <laughs> <laughs> The thought of Roger Moore driving around in one of those little carts they have on to Keshi's Castle spraying people with water while laughing in a, in a military uniform. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'd have a big cocktail in the left hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 That's the greatest impression of anybody I've ever seen. <laughs> Roger Moore driving a, a, a car shooting water. It was carrying. so it was so good. I popped a button on my shirt, Gary. That's, <laughs> I was that stunned by it. I think the idea is not that you have to like knock out the paper targets. But if you haven't watched Takeshi's Castle, this whole section's lost um, on you. Open the tab. Just yeah. Good five minutes. Come back. It's not that you have to shoot out the targets, it's that you have to knock, knock his drink out of his hand or dilute it. <laughs> no, surely it is. You have to hit something very close to the cocktail, but if you hit the cocktail, that's a death sentence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hence why... If the... you water it down, you get lightly maimed. Ah, but he does cheat by having a cocktail umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> what is, so what that's what they're, they're for. for. Yeah. <laughs> the Counts of Andex, then, if I can drag this back <laughs> to, oh, right. to where yeah, we were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in northern Dalmatia. Was it a bit <laughs> spotty? Yeah. Now, I didn't know Dalmatia was actually a region. And I've only just put two and two together. Yes. Same with Alsace. <laughs> so, Alsace is a uh, region. Yeah, Alsace. Weimarana. Weimar. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This all is... these little places that came together to form Germany. Yeah. We're Sausage all... dough. Well, Dalma- yeah. Dalmatia. <laughs> Sausage dough. <laughs> 
<laughs> Weirdly, it was a very short and fat region. Uh, <laughs> which is where the sausage dogs come from. I always said that fox hunting would be if, instead of trying to ban it, just make them just make them. I think it was actually a monster raving loony party idea, but it works. Of make them replace beagles with sausage dogs. Well, so, even sausage out. sausage dogs are hunting dogs just for burrowing animals. Yeah, that's what I mean. A sausage dog chasing. Also, a fox. what's what's the proper name for a sausage dog? Dachund. Dachund, because it is. That'll be from the Dachund region. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's a sausage dog. Dalmatia. <laughs> Dalmatia is not actually in Germany though. It's it's the kind of you know right out oh, of okay. Europe. Does anyone take a guess where that is? Austria. Now? No, we're going a bit further east. We're also on the uh, on the Adriatic is it Sea. Yeah. Not on the Adriatic Sea. It's not. Um, no, we've had Croatia, and it's not. Point. That. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. It oh, is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had Czech Republic, not yeah. Croatia. Uh, yeah, absolutely right. Uh, so we are looking for uh, some counts in northern Dalmatia. Uh, they actually went extinct shortly afterwards. There is a complete extinct. I'm sorry. Well, Neanderthals. Were they Neanderthals? <laughs> they were shot and eaten for their meat by by new by colonizers. We're talking about dogs. <laughs> No, we're talking about the counts. They went extinct in the direct male line. Because they didn't have any girls, basically, and they all married off, right? Uh, other way around. They didn't have any but, sons. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, we're, I mean, in the, yeah. we're in the 13th century. It's just declining just on the male line. That's changed in the UK in the last few years, just before the birth of Prince, Prince George. Thank you. I was about to call him Prince What's Name, which nice. is possibly treason. <laughs> Prince George. Mm. Thing is, that is that is kings and queens of the country sought until after our lifetime. Yeah, the twenty second century. Yes, yes. Wow, sort that out. That's what you call longevity. That's what you call a permanent institution. We've got. Oh, I don't know if it will be Charles or not. I've heard different. Uh, and then you've got well, you've got William, and then you've got him. So it's all blokes for the rest of our life yeah. now. Unless be... we get a gun. No, sorry. That's, that's actually. <laughs> it's uh... going to be a sausage heavy monarchy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it has been throughout history. A yeah, fairly... default setting. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking through, and there is just an enormous amount of genealogy and names and sort of intrigue in the court here. Does anyone want to take a guess at some, some proper sort of Bavarian names that could be in this? Hans. No Hans, strangely enough. That's weird. They That's were all probably maimed. why they died out. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean they were hands-free? Oh, <laughs> yes. Point. You. No, no, I can't give you a point. It's Biscuits. Not a Biscuits. Biscuits. I've just realised that whenever I hit that button, I do this kind of thing with my legs. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Can we just get a freeze frame of that right now? <laughs> Ludwig. Yeah, Ludwig's a good show, actually. Mm. Nope. Arnold. John. Arnold is exactly right. Ah, Point. Arnold. Uh, the very first one. Arnold Count of Dijon, married to Gisela of Schweinfurt. Nice. Pigford? Uh, yeah. Pretty much, yes. yes. Uh, if anyone wants to take what the, what the furt in that is, Schwein is definitely swine. Is it river? Uh, not quite. You're very close. Thank Ford. Ford. Point over there. Literally, Schweinfurt. Schweinfurt. It's where you crossing. Where yeah. you put the pigs through the river. Pig crossing. I love it. There's a German football called Schweinsteiger. I always love that. Pig farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I love it when you do translate mm. my wife does that a little bit you know of, of translating for, foreign footballers names you go <laughs> pig farmer and as soon as you got that in your head you kind of call it, pig farmer <laughs> he's playing surprisingly well considering he's been up since dawn <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't milk pigs do they so he probably up at dawn <laughs> no we've missed the obvious one we've missed Otto oh of one of those. there's Otto. also Popo Nice. Was cool. He, he sounds like a children's clown. Popo the second, Margrave of Carniola. Yes. Oh, Carniola. Yes. And thrice yes, please. <laughs> and if he doesn't introduce himself like that every time, there is something wrong. Probably doesn't introduce himself very much at all anymore. If he didn't at the time. Uh, I am Margrave of Carniola. I would like some petrol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're talking about someone who died more than 900 years ago. I yeah. would like some hay. <laughs> I am Margrave of Cariola. Twix, please. Yeah. <laughs> I was got this idea of motorway service stations on medieval high tracks now. <laughs> well, there would have been things like that. There would have been there would, it would have been, it would have been, Yeah, it would have yes. been a coaching in. But I'm just having the idea that you pull off this slip road on this hay track. And this, this, this utterly uninterested person trying to flog your fish and chips that have been sat there for ten hours. You cannot get a, a Frankfurt from these people. For look at the prices they charge. <laughs> <laughs> I shall go over to ye manor of Ginster. <laughs> <laughs> it is not warm. It is cold. These things should not be eaten. In such a fashion, <laughs> but there be tax if we warm but them. But there be tax if we warm them, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fine, I know. Fine. I set the taxes. <laughs> that is fine. I shall eat it cold anyway. I'm only on my way somewhere else. I shall heat it on my horse's exhaust. <laughs> oh. 
I just I just realised that essentially that passy tax thing is like a medieval tax. It's the, like mm, the kind yes. of thing you'd expect King John to say yeah, in a Robin Hood story. <laughs> yes, the kids Robin Hood story, of course, does involve death, but one that does involve taxing pasties. Yeah, I just thought I would have to pull over at a at a, at a staging place. I have Sorry, sold my you're, dro- you're dropping into Wogan again here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I have sold my breeches, and I must take a quick call. <laughs> These previews are cleaned twice a day. Please tell management if you find a problem. <laughs> There's a little analogue clock on the wall. <laughs> around saying minutes since last... Uh... I got that off one of those grabby machines. <laughs> just on a string. <laughs> yeah. You could never find a favour from these things. No, it's, it's just a peasant strung up by the feet. <laughs> <laughs> and you've only got so much rope to lower them down. Get I that one! Get that, that one! one. <laughs> His grip is not strong enough. They are rigged. They are rigged. He has had some <laughs> disease as a child. <laughs> The, the bears are just massively weighted. No, they're actual bears. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I do not even want this. I think we're riffing a maid Marion and a merry men sketch here. <laughs> right, okay, at the end of the show, Gary, congratulations. You yes! in this one? Yes! Oh, I'd forgotten that. I forgot he does, he does that every time, doesn't he? Um, you have won two hours racing around the coast, desperately trying to collect clams with a famous ballerina in uh, Darcy Bustle's Muscle Hustle. <laughs> So enjoy that. That's been Matt Gray. That's been Gary Brannan. That's been Chris Joel. I've been Tom Scott, and we'll see you next time. And that was our show. If you liked it, leave us a comment, or better yet, share it around to your friends. We're trying not to be too needy, but seriously, share it around. And there are more than 30 audio episodes of our reverse trivia podcast over at techdiff.co.uk.